Hey guys, I recently stopped into Sephora because I wanted to pick up some bright lip colors for summer. Ended up getting a few other things, so I thought I would just share with you what I got. Okay, so the first thing first, I'll talk about the color that I have on my lips. It's a Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil. I haven't tried any of these before. This is in the shade Zinfandel, and it's almost like a poppy orange. I didn't want it to be the same as the YSL number 11, which I have in love, and that is more of a, a true a true orange. This one is more of a coral orange and it has a twist up which I love. I don't have to worry about sharpening and this goes on literally like butter. It literally like melts into your lips. It almost I feel like could be too much so what I ended up doing was I put I put it on and then I blot it really well with a tissue and then I kind of reapply it and it doesn't look melted if that makes sense. I can't talk about the staying power because I really this is the first time I put it on my lips. I don't know that these are meant to be like a long wear lip stain. It's just more like a, a lip color. So we'll see but I really really love the color. I think it's gorgeous and I'm wearing it with my Hourglass Diffused Heat Blush which I feel like pairs really really well together. One thing I will note about these, I feel like you will get through these really quickly. Like a lot of product is used with it, with each application um, because it is just so creamy. Another thing I will mention is don't leave these in your car on a hot day because they will be a disaster. They melt so easily alone just with your own lip and body temperature that I feel like any bit of heat with this, like even if it's in your handbag and your handbag is outside, like just be careful because I feel like these will melt and just be a creamy mess. Another color I picked up is by Sephora and it's one of their lip cream, cream lip satins and this is in the shade Strawberry Kissed. I put a picture of me wearing this on Instagram so I will insert it here if you want to see what it looks like. I love this color. This is more of a red pink. It's the exact color I've been looking for. I have a lot of bright pinks and I have a lot of bright reds but I've really been looking for, if you're familiar with Revlon Cherries in the Snow, I love that lip color so much and I kind of wanted it in a lip stain version of it. So I feel like this is that for me. This is exactly what I was looking for. I literally swatched probably 25 different shades in Sephora until I found this one and this was exactly what I was looking for. So I really love it. I have to talk about the staying power of this. I think I only reapplied it one time throughout the day. It literally lasted me my entire day. Like I was blown away by it. Obviously if you're drinking a lot or like I was chewing gum at one point and blowing bubbles, which I do, it was wearing away on the inner part of my lip. But um, as just a plain lip stain where you're not eating and drinking constantly, amazing staying power. And the other thing I really loved about it is it didn't um, it didn't attach to my dry spots. A lot of the the matte lip colors they adhere to your dry spots and just end up looking really bad. This didn't do that. I really love it. And the last one that I got was by Dior. It's the Dior Attic Fluid Stick. I've heard a lot of people talking about these and um, I wanted to pick one up for myself. This is gorgeous. The packaging is beautiful and again this is that kind of like poppy pink like that cherry pink color and I absolutely love it. I have a lot of like blue tone pink bright lip colors like fuchsia and candy yum yum from MAC and I just wanted more of like a a little bit of a warmer tone um, like a cherry cherry pink color. Okay I just put the um, Dior color on and I totally forgot to mention the name of it. It's Wonderland. The first time I've tried it on but I really wanted to try the color on for you. This is so so creamy. It, it just feels so good on your lips. It doesn't feel drying at all. These I think are meant to be more of a stain so we'll see how it goes but right out of the tube on my lips it feels amazing. I also picked up some other stuff that I wasn't planning on but when I went to see Bethany, the Bethany talk show, they gave the whole audience um, JCPenney gift cards, like $100 gift cards. So I went to the Sephora inside my JCPenney and just picked up some things that I probably normally wouldn't have just bought for myself on a whim. I picked up two perfumes. Both of them are by Elizabeth and James, the Nirvana. One is the white and one's the black. I think that's what they're called. Let me just... Yeah, white and black. Um, I love these both so much. I almost got the whole full size of the white bottle. The white is definitely more of a daytime fragrance. Um, I got the roller balls, but it's amazing and I'm surprised at how much I like these. I actually smelled these in a magazine as a sample like a long time ago and they kind of just have always stuck in my head. The black is definitely more for a nighttime, and I'm still kind of on the fence about it um, so that's why I only wanted to get the, the roller ball. I feel like I might commit and get the bigger size of the of the white because I really really love it. It's so fresh. Um, I'll put the notes in the description box below because I'm not good at describing these at all. The only thing I will say when I try to describe them and when I think of them and smell them, they, they 
They smell very classy, very feminine, and very mature to me. They're very mature scents. I recently just finished up two of my perfumes, so, and I'm kind of over having like loads of perfumes. I really want to find like maybe like five good core scents that I just rotate through my collection, and I feel like these might be that for me. So I'm super excited to kind of wear these more and, and decide if I really like them or not. I don't know why, but they gave me this beach bag. I don't know if it's because I spent a certain amount or what, but it's from Benefit. It says laugh on it. I don't know. It's a big beach tote. And the only other things I got were two bubble baths from Philosophy. I have always wanted to try these, but they are a little bit pricey to be a bubble bath. So I thought with the gift card, I would kind of just splurge and get them. Um, I love the whole like concept of Philosophy's line, how they have like the ingredients and the recipe kind of on the bottle. I got vanilla coconut and pink frosted animal cracker. <laughs> random. The vanilla coconut is such a good scent for summer and springtime. I'm going to just, oh, it's so, it's so good for spring and summer, like that beachy scent, especially if you pair it with Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess perfume afterwards. And the pink animal cracker, pink frosted animal cracker is just so sweet and like bakery like. Let me see if I can, yeah. Oh, it just smells so good. A little bit, um, I smell a little bit of strawberries too, but I love it. And if you're not familiar with the Philosophy products, you can actually use this as a shampoo, a shower gel, and a bubble bath. I got this one more so as a bubble bath than as like a, a shampoo or anything. I probably would use it as a shower gel, but I don't really have any intention of using these in my hair. I just wanted to have them as like a body wash or a bubble bath. So that's it. My small little haul of things that I picked up from Sephora. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!